by how to create a title block in Automation Studio. The first thing we, we have here in Automation Studio is our um, work area, which is a, by default is an ANSI B format to create a, a title block. First thing we have to do is to make a right click and we go to Document Properties. In here we have the page setup standard and uh, we can only if, uh, simply clicking on open and modify and we will we will go inside to page setup the standards. These are all the standards that are, that are already created in Automation Studio. As we can see the ACB is the default standard. If we want for example to add a new standard to this uh, list we only have to click on here on add. We can we have also the option to delete, copy and then paste. We can filter the standards also by using using uh, this box and we can mark. We can choose between marking or filtering. So to start we go with add and by default it will create a new standard starting from the default uh, format which is ANSI B. For example, I'm going to name this as a support ANSI B. And then we can also add a comment here. This is the name of the standard for this page that I'm creating right now. So we have here we can choose the document size. It could be customized, but we are using something standard or normal. My document orientation landscape, we can continue. Usually, I suggest to use 10 millimeters at printer margin. As you can see, this is going to be updated right away here, the preview. If we continue, we go to the part of the title block. We select customize. We can also look for the default one, but usually each company has a customized title block. We click on this pencil here and we go we go inside the title block creator area. We go for example to home and we have here all the drawing tools to create our title block. If the problem that this one is not attaching to the to the border to the edge, we can change the the snap. Right now is 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 to the grid and the grid is every two millimeters moving. I can change it to one over twenty. And by making a zoom, I can change this to the exact edge of the page. Then we can continue constructing. We, we can hold down control and we will have an orthogonal line. I hold down also control to copy this line again. Let's say that we are going to use it like this. I hold down control also to have a perfect vertical line. And then I go with the text, for example. I say that I want to write here the title and then introduce a field here. Each time I introduce a field, I have the choice between a project property or a diagram property. Let's say that we are going right now for the title with the, <coughs> the diagram property. I'm going to look here for the title also. I can apply it. It's already there. Now um, <clears throat> I can copy this one here, and if I double click, then I will, I will change the content. The content it will be company, for example. Then I can insert field. And then I go with, for example, the current project properties. I click on company. And I insert it. By default, my company is Famic Technologies Incorporated. That's why it's written FTI. 
And if what is important in the title block is that we have to set all conditions. Let's say for the text, I want this part to be aligned to the left. I want it to be aligned to the left, the two components, the two text. I can also change here the type of the type of, of, of the font. Whatever you are used to, to work in in your company. We have all the choices here. Also this is the same we, we have the same um, edition for the information in the fields. We can increase the size of this. We can change here to Roma. And then also we can introduce some images here. Let's say that you want to introduce an image and then you can look for in your uh, uh, hard drive where to find it. It's important to know that uh, when we are going to introduce a, an image, it has to be um, reasonable uh, size of the image because sometimes this information will be loaded in the project even before we are going to introduce or we are going to be starting our schematic. And if, for example, we introduce an image of five megabytes by default at the starting my file size will be five megabytes so that's why we have to be careful with the size of the image we are going to introduce in our title block so this is the title block we have created as you can see the title field is not complete because I have to uh, we have to to define it in the document properties, but for the purpose of this, we are going to continue, and then after, we are going to set this setting, this information. Now we have to save and quit. We go back to our preview. We accept changes. If I want to, I can add also a map locator, horizontal and vertical, to my to my standard, to my to my to my page. I can select to display or not the grid. I apply changes. And I go, uh, I have, as you can see, right now I'm not able to see the title block. To apply the title block to this page, I have to make a right click, go to document properties, go to page, page setup standard, and select from here the one that I created, which is support. As you can, as you can see, I have 10 millimeters from the edge of the page. I have the title block created, and then I can go to document properties and introduce the, the title for my project. Let's say right now is uh, title block. creation. As you can see, this part, the, the addition part of the top title block is very important. You have to set the font, the size of the font, the alignment also, before getting to, um, to really define the standard title block for my company. Okay. Once we have the title block, let's say that I don't need any more the ANSI B. I want to have my title block in ANSI D, E, or C, or ISO. This is very simple. We only have to make a right click and select document properties. We go to the page setup standard, open and modify. 
I go, I have to look for support. Here we have, I can copy this, I copy my selection, I paste it again. And then I can change here. They say that we're going to change that to ISO ISO A0. And here I go to ISO A0. Now, what I have to do only is to change here to ISO A0. I go back to the customized title block and for purpose of, of this part I recommend you to group to we select everything, we make a right click and then we can group everything and then move around my title block. I go to home. I go and change the snap again. And I attach the title block to the edge of the page. Now to view, this is how the, the ISO A0 will be displayed. Now I save and quit. Click on save and quit and quit. This will be the name of this page setup standard. I apply changes. I can close it. And now if I make a right click again and I go to document properties, I can select from this list the support ISO A0. As you can see, the page is bigger. I go to zoom page and here we have this part. If we have this, this, this is a, a common problem. When we have this gap here, to solve this problem, we only need to go to the Automation Studio menu. We go to Print Preview. And we make a Print Preview. We select, for example, we, we pick up, we, we pick a, a printer. And we go to ISO. And then by making the print preview, we will be able to see the, that this problem has disappeared. We close the print preview. And as you can see, in my schematic, it's no longer showing the gap between the, the map locator and the title block. If we make a, a zoom page, we will see everything. This is working fine. I hope you have learned today how to make, you, you create your own title block in Automation Studio. It's very simple. That's all for today.